What's up, everyone? Adam Ronis from Fantasy Alarm here with your NBA starting five for Monday, October 24th. Eight games on the slate. Lots of good plays to choose from. We kick it off at point guard. Going to go with Damian Lillard. Especially like him on FanDuel where he's cheaper at 8800 First game wasn't great for Lillard coming off the injury plague season, but the last two have been great. He scored 41 points in each of the last two games. 25 shots in each of the last two games, shooting 50% from the field, 52.9 and 47 FanDuel points the last two games. The game total tonight is 228 points against Denver. And Denver has allowed at least 117 points in all three games they played. At shooting guard, going to go with Devin Vassell. He's too cheap right now based on his usage. We knew he was going to see an increased role with all the changes in San Antonio. And he gets a matchup against Minnesota that's struggling against shooting guards. Vassell has a usage rate of 22.6%. First game wasn't good, but the last two games, averaging 22.5 points, 4.5 rebounds, 3.5 assists, and 1.5 steals. He's got 41.25 and 35 DraftKings points the last two games. At small four, we're going to go with Larry Markin in 6,400 on DraftKings, too cheap. Wait, I thought the Jazz were tanking. They're 3-0. and Now, they did play last night, and Markkinen did play 39 minutes, but he had 31 points, 12 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 steals, a block, and an assist. The last two games, 56.5 and 51.5 DraftKings points. He's averaging 24 points, 9.7 rebounds, 3.7 assists, 1.3 steals, and gets a bad Rockets defense, which to me nullifies the back-to-back. Markkinen, we knew... New role in Utah would go off, and man, has he delivered so far. Power forward, going to go with Jason Tatum. It looks like he's on this MVP campaign here. He's played at least 37 minutes in all three games. He's averaging 34.7 points, 8.3 rebounds, 3 assists, and a steal per game. And he's taken at least 20 shots from the field in all three games. He's had games of 59 and 61 DraftKings points. And the Bulls just allowed 128 points to Cleveland, who was without Darius Garland. Finally, at center, we're going to go with Joel Embiid. Now, he's coming off a great performance. 40 points, 13 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 blocks against the Spurs for 67.25 DraftKings points. But they lost that game. The Spurs were plus 600 on the money line and beat Philly, who's 0-3. They got to get a win tonight. They should get it. They're going up against Indiana. And there's going to be no one to slow Embiid down. And he's averaging 27 points, 13.3 rebounds. 3.7 3.7 assists and 1.3 blocks. The Pacers have allowed 114, 137, and 116 points. And those games came against the Wizards, Spurs, and Pistons. So look for Philly to bounce back in a big way tonight, and it'll start with Embiid. That's your NBA starting five here for Monday, October 24th. I'm Adam Ronis. Go get that money tonight.